The 911 communication systems continue to be an issue in Northumberland County. What are the next steps to take in order to solve whatever problems still remain? Well, the the uh, the current county commissioners are in the process of getting a three point four million dollar bond uh, to finish the project. Uh, we still have drop areas. Uh, I think, from what I'm hearing in my my investigation so far, I'm finding that uh, a lot of it has to do with the radios that these these uh, EMS fire departments police have that they need to have a, a better radios. Uh, I'm not sure on that, but I'm looking into it. Uh, I I think. You know, we need to work together with everybody involved and, and get it running, get it to where it needs to be. Uh, you know, that's like $12 million spent on this project, and it's still not up and functioning like it should be. So we need to uh, get everybody involved and get, get the project done so we can move forward with something else. Uh, can't keep dragging your feet after all these years and all this money uh, to continue to still have issues with the 911. The county has spent more than a quarter of a million dollars in overtime at the prison since it opened in October. How will you work with the warden and the prison board members to, members to solve this? Uh, I think I think we have to work on come up coming up with a new plan on getting employees. Uh, if you if you think about it, you want somebody to go be a prison warden for twelve dollars an hour, and they could go to McDonald's and work for ten dollars an hour. Uh, be a prison guard is, is a lot of work, and it's it's dangerous work because you never know what could happen. I, and I think that we need to discuss maybe with a, a program where, you know, this would be like a training ground. Uh, you become a prison at Northumberland County Prison, and then uh, your next step would be maybe uh, going to the state prison, and then maybe to a federal, I mean, if, if that's what your desire is. But we have to look at how we can financially afford to... Uh, up the the pay for employees. I think that's one of the biggest issues is because the starting wage is $12 an hour. And I think we need to really look at that to see what we can do to curb the overtime pay. Okay. With the hotel study happening and the AOAA continuing to attract tourism, where do you see the county headed in terms of economic development over the next four years? And what will you do to help accomplish those goals? I think it's it's big that we we need to get with all your your mayors, your council people, your township supervisors in the whole area and in the, in the whole county, uh, and find out what they need to help them to prosper. We got to move forward, and uh, communication is key, uh, and anything really you want to get done. So I think we need to contact those people, see what they need, and and develop areas that you know that need to be developed, like the cell tax property. Uh, there we have all that property up there and uh, something needs to be put on that property. Uh, you could put a hotel there. The AOAA out there it draws a lot of people every year um, and, and it makes a, a lot of money. So we have to think about, you know, where we could put actually, you know, we'd like to get one hotel, but maybe several, one out in that, that portion of the county and then one up the, the northern end or up towards the northern end. But uh, I, I think Celtex property could be a key area to put a hotel, uh, you know, only being 17, 18 miles from Schmokin. Uh, that wouldn't be too far of a drive. Uh, and it'd be a hotel closer to the area. And what capital projects do you hope to accomplish? Oh, uh, fix up blighted properties. Uh, the, the whole county has blighted properties. And I, I think if we can fix the blighted properties, uh, you'll get some more... Uh, attraction to the area uh, and just you know maybe maybe have work with the uh, state reps and, and Senator Gordner on getting some financing to get rid of the blighted properties so we can resell the properties and and you know hopefully develop bring some more people in which will open businesses and uh, hopefully make every community a better place what kind of opportunities exist for regionalization or cooperation with neighboring counties, and will you pursue those? Absolutely. Uh, I do know uh, a few people in, in Mator and Snyder County. I just met a few people from uh, Union County, and it's like anything else. Uh, being on the school board, you know, you work a lot with CSIU, who deals with uh, all the partner partnering schools to buy things to make things cheaper for everybody involved. I think uh, if we work together, we could uh, 
come up with a plan on what what would help us all. Just like uh, currently, the nine one one up in the northern end of the county is dealt with the Union County. So you know, I, I think it's 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 a plus to work with all these other local counties and, and make this whole area much better.